Hi guys, this is KidLink77 and welcome back. Let's play Dragon Warrior 7. In the last episode, we were able to save the town of Coastal in the past. We solved their monster problem. We got a really cool weapon out of the deal. Uh, we got some more shards, you know, the question mark shards. And we've learned a little more about Anise and Shark Eye. Anise wanted to uh, live to see Shark Eye. Uh, he is currently, or you know, he was currently in the past, frozen in a block of ice, and she wished for the Undersea King to make it so that she could live longer so she could see him once again when he, you know, escaped from his prison. So, uh, she is now currently a mermaid, I guess. In this episode, we're gonna explore the town of Coastal in the present. So, to get there, just, um, I like to start from, uh, like, uh, the, from Fishbell. And then just work our way down, you know, um, to the uh, southeast. Nobody sees our uh, our carpet, and then we'll be on our way. There's something I don't think different about the town right now, um, you know, or Arsville, but I mean, you know, that's okay. And yeah, as you can see, the lighthouse is still over here, and uh, we'll be going there later. Um, so uh, yeah, be <laughs> ready for that. Another uh, fun trip for bat tracking. I don't know if I will show it off. I might like show you the treasure that I get, but again, though, we'll see. All right, so let's make our way into, you know, coastal over here and uh, let's see how it is. It's no longer foggy, so that's a good thing. And hello, good sir. Welcome to coastal enjoyed by countless visitors every year. Ooh, did it become like a tourist attraction kind of thing? Uh, hey, you. My girlfriend pestered me into bringing her here. Oh, okay. Oh, darling, isn't it just beautiful? I'm so glad that we came. Okay. Um, is it really that great? The Marley de Dragon, uh, the Marley de Dragon, okay, whatever. Uh, they were encased in ice uh, by the Demon Lord years ago. Rumor has it that they're still bobbing on the ocean somewhere. So are they talking about the ship or the, the people who did the things with the ship? Oh, that's weird. The young people today are wasting all their money in the casino. The casino? There's a casino here? Huh. What's well, a guy like me doing <laughs> living in a temple? Well, I ran into some bad luck playing poker, so I thought I'd turn to God and said, Ah, yes, what everyone does when they're in trouble. They turn to God and hope that everything turns okay. Ooh, there's a treasure over there. I won't say that I do that because I don't really do much religion stuff. It's just, you know, just, I'm just like, whatever. I mean, if you think it's there, then you think it's there. Me, bam, just like, it's again, whatever you think, but... Anyway, uh, let's see, it's over here, we have nothing, and in here we have nothing. A useless point of, you know, waste of time, so yeah. Uh, I just can't shake this funk I'm in. There's a music contest being held in Marjorie, Southwest of here. I went to compete, but everyone else was just too good. Oh, so I wonder if it's still going on. We haven't been to Marjorie in, you know, a while. So maybe they're doing some stuff with that festival. Hmm. Well, this is a lounge for travelers visiting the temple. Please make yourself at home. Will do. I mean, there's nothing else really here for us, so we do know a little more about the, um, about the concept that, you know, um, the Princess of Mardra, you know, was doing. So, uh, yeah. All right. So, and hello, we have more people. Damn it, now I'm completely broke again. I wish I'd never come to this casino. Jeez, this thing seems to be like a problem. Uh, this used to be the capital of Coastal, but the formal king moved, uh, his army away from here centuries ago. Now the town's a haven for travelers and tourists. Wow, that must have taken place forever. Uh, you know, ago, so, uh, yeah, and all the, uh, stuff that happened. Alright, so, hey, you, throw your pot. I can't catch any fish. That's a need to be patient, but that takes too long. Yeah, sitting on your butt, you know, takes too long. Just enjoy it for what you can. Alright, well, here we get a meat snack, which is cool, I guess. I don't really use any of those, and we can't use them, you know, outside of them, outside of battles, so <laughs> that's great, I guess. Alright, so anyway, in here, if I can... There's the door. I wonder why they put a door right there in the back. I don't know. And nothing. Oh, right. It was useless. Everyone knows about our casino, but Coastal's real pride enjoys a lighthouse to the north. If you say so. If you say so. Yeah, the casino. <laughs> uh, the casino. We'll talk about that later. All right. So anyway, let's uh, go over here. And uh, if you remember, last time, we can move this now. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. So let's, uh, I guess, make our way in here. And uh, let's get some treasure. In treasure, we get a tiny metal. Um, I think next episode is when we're going to be speaking to the Metal King again about, uh, you know, maybe, uh, uh, you know, doing some stuff and getting some good treasure. Because we have all the stuff we need. So, uh, hello, good lady. Um, I'm husband's a lucky man. He just keeps on winning at the casino. Of course, sometimes all he brings home is a bunch of useless junk. I hate to throw anything away, but I never have any use for it. 
remember this for later because this is going to be somewhat important. I um, mean, you know, we're, I mean, not super later. I mean, we're probably going to, you know, do this stuff today that we have for this person, I guess. But yeah, so just remember that, you know, there's a guy who's apparently really lucky. All right, so anyway, there we got nothing. And that is, I believe, the inn. Is there... No, it's nothing. Okay. So, item shop 2. Uh, what does the innkeeper... I don't think he said anything. Uh, the man who lives behind here loves to gamble. He's good at it, too. His pockets are filthy with, uh, lucre from winning all the prizes he's got. Okay, so... I guess he maybe sells the stuff after he wins. I mean, I guess it makes sense, but yeah. Alright, so anyway... Ooh, we have halflings here. Hobbits! Alright! What are hobbits doing here? I hope they have their own little cave and... So far, no treasure except for a tiny middle. My name's Stara, and there isn't a single man here good enough for me. Do you know of any towns with lots of strong, manly men? Do priests and robbers count? You can have them. Yeah, let's take her over to, you know, uh, uh, you know, to Arsville. Delightful. I knew I could kind of need to lead me towards cute men. Thanks, traveler. All right, you may be disappointed, but okay, whatever you say. A coast seems to be a castle town, but now it's just a village. Okay, <laughs> it looks like a castle still, but whatever. Husband can't get rid of this halfling accent. It's so I'm so embarrassed. Oh, okay, jeez, what a woman. Alrighty, um, let's see. Let's uh, go back outside and let's uh, you know, let's explore some more, shall we? Uh, there's still some stuff that we could buy here. Um, I don't think I'm gonna buy anything, but I do at some point want to go downstairs. But let's take a look and see what they have. This is the armor store, uh, and they have Viking armor, which is useless for us. Uh, dragon armor, which, again, I'm tempted. It's expensive, but I am tempted. So, uh, yeah, nothing, you know, super special. And I don't know if the weapon shop has anything brand new for us. Uh, let's see. Yeah, they have the dragon sword, but, you know, again, just useless pretty much right now. So, yeah, we're pretty good on equipment right now. Um, so let me, uh, before we progress, let me go behind the armor shop and see if there's anything special in there, you know, in the basement or anything. Let's see what's going on. Uh, can we talk to you? Oh, you're here to see my husband. I'm sorry, he's out now. Okay. Uh, yeah, and I see nothing. Nothing. This used to be a bar, but now I guess it got changed. Say my dad's really gullible. What's gullible mean? Okay, uh, I wonder who he is. Actually, I know who he is. We'll talk to him later. All right, so anyway, uh, let's see you. Travelers, hey, there are a lot of good prizes in the casino. They've got all sorts of stuff from the old castle. Oh, okay. Oh, I wonder why we couldn't have gotten any of this, but yeah, we have the casino up here. Um, let's go look at the prizes. Let me see, I have one token. You currently have one token. Yay, what can we get? All right, so we have a world leaf for a thousand, a question mark shard for two thousand, a blueprint for five thousand, I think we need to get the shard. I don't know about the blueprint yet, we'll talk about that later. But the shard we need. That requires gambling. And I really don't like gambling. Um, we have a falcon blade, which is somewhat useful. Um, I mean, you know, you can you can use it to attack twice. Um, the attack power's not all that great, but you can attack twice. Good for metal stuff. And, um, uh, I don't know what happens if you use Falcon Hit with a Falcon Blade. In Dragon Quest Eight, I remember you can do four strikes like that. Um, but I don't know about here. Sacred Armor, which is pretty good, and we have the Metal King Helm, which is, I think, the best helmet in the game. It's really nice. 50,000 tokens, though. Um, now, let me show you. I have, uh, a nice solid amount of cash. I haven't really decided how I'm gonna do this yet, but you need to get that shard. Um, let me see. I have one token, so... I want to buy some more tokens. Uh, let's see. So for, for I want um I want to get two thousand tokens. Uh, you want two thousand forty thousand dollars? Yeah. Um, that's a lot of money. I have the money for it, and I am tempted to not have to play all the games. But I mean, that's a lot of money. How much do I have like left after that? Uh, let's see. I have seventy grand, so I'd have to withdraw like thirty-five grand. Um, that's half my gold right there, over half that I have to get, so. Um, again, I haven't really decided how I plan on doing that. I mean, we'll see. I might buy, like, you know, maybe 500 tokens or something, which is about, you know, maybe 500, and we'll see what we can do, but yeah. There's something like a drink after hitting the jackpot. Okay, you lucky son of a... All right, so this is Chain Booth with full of wonderful prizes. One of our regulars just walked away with one of uh, the top prizes a minute ago. Ooh, okay. Oh, we're gonna uh, see if we can maybe talk to him. 
Now, we have games, we have slot machines, uh, we have her. Welcome, welcome, having fun. If you're a member, uh, be sure to talk to the girl on the balcony. No. How do you become a member? Well, you'll need a recommendation from the King of Coastal himself. Isn't he dead? I don't know what... <laughs> what? Alright, whatever. Ugh. Uh, don't bother me, I'm building up energy so I can pull the lever. <laughs> Doesn't take that much, what? Alright, so you can talk to the people. Uh, damn, we'll never get the sacred armor now. I just saw some rich guy walk out with tons of prizes, too. Hey, you. I was just close to having three sevens. You wanna use this machine? Yeah, so you can... Not a gambler, you're lost. You can ask people to move. I don't know if it, like, affects, like, you know, what you can do. But, uh, I mean, yeah, you can ask people. This is a more expensive area up here. Like, these things cost, like, upward 100 tokens to do stuff. Um, this is a lucky panel. What you do is you flip over, uh, like, you, you literally flip over, like, six cards and try to get matches. And then you see what you have, and then, like, um, uh, you, uh, you, you try to flip over as many matches as you can. If you get them all, that's great. If you don't, well, then you lose. So it's a real guessing game, and it's, you know, it's, it's, again, not really worth it. I don't really like indoor gambling, so, yeah. I don't really like it, so. Now, I think there's a way that you can lower the cost of getting some prizes. We're gonna be doing that before we, um, you know, start gambling and stuff, so, yeah. Now, anyway, they, that lady over there said that, uh, you know, someone had walked away with one of the top prizes. Um, so let's see. Hey, you. Sorry, I'm on my break. I'm sick of dealing with customers here. The owner even slapped me on the butt a minute ago. What's that? Oh, well, thank you. I suppose I do have a nice butt. Ah, you. All right, let's talk to this guy. <laughs> I made another fortune at the casino today. But they're ruining the day they met me. Oh, okay. All right, well, um, we need to talk to him again later. I think I missed uh, talking to somebody in here. Um, uh, they say, hey, you know, he made off with, like, a pretty cool prize. So, yeah. Uh, I forget who it is exactly you need to talk to, per se? See, yeah, 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 okay, so we talked to him already. Um, no, I don't want to talk to her again, please, no. All right, um, let's see, you. You know, you, you strategy flew in big here. This is the poker table, uh, by the way, where you play poker if you, no, sorry. This is the lucky panel table. It's another one, but you pay less to play. Uh, same strategy, and this one here is a poker table, so yeah. I came here to win big, but at the rate I'm going to be leaving a poor man. Hey, you. Uh, nothing like a casino take a load off your mind. Okay, you. What do you want? You want this lot me? Yeah, keep your pants on. They're all the same. Okay, so I guess they don't change. Huh. So what's up here, I wonder? This is the lighthouse, or like the place where you light the flame and stuff. Old looking note on the shelf. My name is Tristan, the notorious thief. According to my father, the blood of the legendary thief, Don Borod, runs in my veins. After much determination, I have Saul Board's message. I can't believe it. This is what he cherished for all these years? Just a portrait. Wait, I'm beginning to understand. No matter how rich he was, that which he desired most was not within his grasp. <laughs> That's women for you. Put Board's treasured portrait in my pocket. I figured Don Board's lover wouldn't make a half bag good luck charm. Tristan. Ugh, okay. <laughs> Whatever you say. Alright, so that's a story of Trish. We've been following them for a while, but yeah, nothing really been, you know, nothing too important, I guess. By the fire in this lighthouse, there's no special properties unlike the flame that once burned here. When it derived from the pilot fire of the lighthouse to the north, the flame went out to fight its mythical qualities. That's a tongue tie. Looks like the only way you'll see real pilot fire is by heading north. Okay. Anything up here? Yeah. Oh, you. A month ago, I tried ascending the other lighthouse, but failed to reach the top. The armorer passed by me on his way back down. I hope he's okay. Oh, so the armorer might be over there, huh? Okay. I'll try to protect you. There's a truly legendary pilot fire. Even if it isn't, simply being uh, where the flame once burned uh, is a blessing. Okay, cool. And there's nothing up here. All right. I need to go back down to the um, um, the casino, because I believe you need to talk to some people to trigger the next event. Which is essentially talking to that guy that's in, you know, the hallway, so. Uh, let's see here. Who do I want to speak to? Actually, here. What's out over here again? I forget. Hello? Hello? Uh, this leads nowhere. I wonder why they put this here. I don't remember this, like, having any like, significance, so I guess it's just there to just be there, I guess. Alright, so I think maybe the person I want to talk to is upstairs? Because I'm missing something. Uh, let's see, I've already spoken to all of you guys. Uh, let's see, let's talk to everybody here. How does the lucky panel come on in? Okay, you. Oh, but I have to go that way. Uh, let's see, you. 
Uh, in a peaceful world, there's nothing for me to do. Guess I'll kill some time here. Okay. All right, it is somewhat peaceful. We haven't really done anything stupid, so yeah. All right, uh, don't tell me you'll make me forget the last card. Yeah, so it's all a guessing game. You can't just rely on luck. You need to use your head if you want to win big. Uh, I remember back when this casino had the most worthless junk for prizes. He even had some silly shard thing up there once. It was there for ages until the guy behind the inn wanted. Oh, okay, all right. Now, the thing is that there's still going to be a shard there, so it's not the one that we're thinking of, like the one that's, you know, um, it's a different shard. So, what we're going to do now, yeah, yeah, I guess you have to talk to him, is now we need to come on down here, and we need to talk to uh, this guy over here. Oh, I was like, did she disappear? No, she's here. All right, so, I bet they're ruining the day. Okay, so here it is. Hmm, you want something for me? Yeah, we want that shard. What? Did I ever win a shard? Well, I've won many things. Wait a minute, I think I know what you're talking about. I couldn't figure out what to do with it, so I sold it to the armorer. It was probably worthless, but I got him to buy it off me. <laughs> that guy's so gullible, he'll believe anything you say. Okay. Well, we did learn... Hi, kitties. Oh, We did learn that, um... The armor was heading, uh, you know, to uh, the lighthouse. So, why don't we go there next? Um, what I'm tempted to do is I'm really tempted... Or, here, let me see. Let me look at our items quickly. Uh, let's see. Uh, plan, tidy items... All of ours is junk, so yes, uh, and I think we got everything there that we really care about, and we'll do the same uh, for World Do okay. Uh, we'll do the same, I guess, for Melvin also. So let's see, do this, and uh, let's see, Melvin, say yes, okay. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to um, show you the items that I get, because we're essentially, uh, we're going backtracking the exact same tower. So I'm going to show you all the items that, you know, you can get. I'm going to meet you guys at one of the rooms. There are monsters here, so do be careful. Uh, so yeah, I will be right back. Ooh, we actually have new enemies here. So, uh, yeah, I made, you know, my way over here. Um, so I guess why don't we show off some new stuff here. So yeah, we have uh, Dark Armors, uh, which, you know, they're pretty meh. We have Magic Potes also, which, you know, again, they're meh. Uh, so we're gonna have everyone use Vacuum, and you're gonna attack the Magic Potion. I think Vacuum does okay against the armor guys. They have a lot of HP. Oh, wind doesn't affect that one, huh? Okay. That's good to know, but it's pretty nice against the other ones, so yeah. Good to know, though, that it doesn't do that. I wonder why. Huh, I don't know. Alright, so, um, now we haven't gotten any, um, uh, like any really good treasure. We got, like, an herb, um, and, uh, ooh, and a level up. Oh, cool. We've got an herb and an antidote. That's pretty much it from some barrels. So, yeah. All right. So, level 32. Ooh, nice one for a Gabo. All right. So, and yeah, that's pretty darn good. Only monster I've... Oh, hey. And <laughs> she became a Ronin. And Twitch. Okay. That's the only set of monsters that I've come in here against. So, yeah, that's uh, pretty interesting. Now, there are some people here that you can talk to. There's the lighthouse keeper who's at the very bottom of the tower. And there's a guy in this room who says, hey, you should visit the Aqua statue. Which uh, we could have seen, but... Again, it's not really worth it. I mean, this is where I wanted to meet you guys anyway, was right out over here, or right in front of this thing, because we want to come out over here. So uh, anyone can come worship here at the uh, Statue of the Aqua Spirit. However, you can't see the pilot fire from uh, from here. Now, the floors further up are full of traps set by the lighthouse keepers of long ago. You'll make it up to the top floor unless you are incredibly strong. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got a burp. Hate that. All right, so and hey, you. This is the spirit of the, uh, or the statue of the Aqua Spirit, protector of all those who cross the sea. How beautiful. You could have seen this in the past. It would have still been here, but it's just like, uh, it's kind of out of the way, so. But here, it's kind of, you know, kind of cool, I guess. I'm traveling none. I visit holy statues all over the world. Okay, cool. So that's uh, pretty much all I wanted to show you is that the Aqua Spirit resides here. And you do want to keep note of that, so yeah. Uh, let's see. Now, I could just meet you guys, um, where I want to meet you, but there is a treasure here that we could get. Uh, after I collect the treasure, though, I'm going to meet you guys at the top of the tower. Uh, there are some chests that, you know, in the past either held nothing or they were mimics. You can go ahead and open those now because I, I'm i pretty sure that they all have other treasure. And, ooh, there's a guy here. They all have different treasure that's, you know, somewhat worth it. And, oh, my God, that... Oh, I got to go all the way over here. I probably should have just taken, like, this one here and stepped off there. I don't know if you could have, though. It would have been a, a close shot, but... All right, let's see. Can we make it now? There we go. Okay. So in here we get, yay, we get a world do. Actually, I thought it was a potion. That's actually definitely worth it. We get a world do. That's kind of cool. I'm tempted to fall off and then start over. 
come this far, but now I'm too scared to go back. I don't want to fall. Ah! Yeah, I'm just going to drop, and then I'm going to meet you guys at the very top of the tower, and I'll show you what else I got, so I'll be right back. Oh, we actually have a new enemy here, so I guess I'll show this off as well. These are baby clouds, and they are, you know, immune to wind stuff, so yeah. Uh, but, you know, again, treat these guys... Ooh, hey, cool, paralyzed, nice. That's some bow, too. And we can kill... Oh, we couldn't do it. Oh, man. And he's paralyzed, that's good. Alright, there we go. So, um, these guys can also be accompanied by, uh, actual another cloud enemy that's really dangerous. Um, I guess, you know, having vacuum here isn't all that great for some stuff, like the magic posts are immune to it, and these guys, and, uh, their master, I guess, is immune to it. So, yeah, be wary of that. Um, we are getting closer to the top of the tower. Uh, let's see, and we need to make our way over here and get the treasure. That chest up there actually has some stuff. I guess uh, while we're waiting for this thing to come back, I'll go over some treasure. We got a life apricorn, or a life acorn. Uh, we also got a tiny metal, uh, f uh, which is really nice from one of the chests. Uh, I think we need to wait. Yeah, we gotta wait. Uh, we got a tiny metal from one of the chests. We're gonna get something from here. We get, yay, and this is the actual potion I was thinking of. So I don't know if it's really worth wait, but it's whatever, I guess. Now, I don't know if I need to drop I think I need to drop, yeah, because if I don't, um, that thing's gonna take forever to, like, realign itself and stuff, so, uh, yeah, be wary, um, and again, you know, walking over here isn't too bad, um, I guess I'll get the treasure over there now, and we'll just, you know, hang it over here, so, because we're getting close to the top, anyway, and cutting, yeah, not really worth it, alright, so, anyway, I've been, like, oh, man, School has just been kicking my ass. <laughs> I haven't really been recording as much as I really like to, but just because, you know, it's, uh, I'm doing a whole ton more work. Like, um, let's see, Wednesday I had a nice fun day. I went and played Smash. You can actually see, like, me on stream, uh, you know, smashing. I, I lose terribly. Um, I'm not used to melee after playing 4 for so long. Um, but, I mean, I had, you know, a lot of fun. Um... Uh, let's see, what else? And just, you know, school in general has been real tough because, I mean, yeah, it's just, ugh. Uh, so much work to it. I have, a, like, a three to five page paper due tomorrow, and this is being posted that, that day, and I should be working on it, but, I, yeah, I just, I just needed a break from stuff, so. Anyway, uh, it took me an entire month, but I finally made it here. Relieved that I made it, but I'm so tired that I don't know if I'll make it back. What, you're asking me if I'm the owner of the armor shop in Coastal? Yeah. Well, yes, I'm the armorer. Uh, how did you find me here? What do you want? A shard? Oh, yes, I remember. Someone tried to sell it to me. As usual, I couldn't say no, but I ended up buying the thing. Later, a priest from the temple came along. He said he wanted the same good luck as the man who owned it before me and asked me to sell it to him. I figured it was just some useless piece of junk anyway, so I gave it to him for free. Okay. Nice guy. He probably had the same idea the priest had, but I'm warning you against it. Don't waste your time hoping for luck in some casino. Diligent effort is the best way every time. All right, so in that case, we're throwing... Oh, we can't throw ourselves off the edge. Oh, well. We'll check out the scones and see. Yeah, it's still going strong. Nice. All right, so that, that wraps it up for over here. So why don't we... I'm going to meet you guys um, back in... Actually, no, I'm just going to exit out, and then we'll uh, we'll go to Coastal by uh, casting outside again. Hopefully this will work. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, we're going to uh, make our way back over to uh, Coastal and see if we can find the priest uh, who, you know, might have a shard that we do somewhat need, so yeah. Alright, so to make our way there, I believe we need to go up through here. Can we go through here? Yeah. And then, hello priest, hello. That's the priest S. Uh, hey you. Priest is out, so I'm here in this place. Oh, okay, so no priest, eh? Uh, let's see, let's end that. Uh, where is the priest? I forget, actually. Um, I may have to spend a few seconds hunting the priest out. Although, if I had to guess, he's probably in the casino. Um, so we'll make our way over there really quickly, and then if I don't find him now, I'll find him off screen, and then I'll show you where he is. So, onward to the, uh, to the casino to, uh, yeah, make, uh, not make, to lose some money. Oh, look, this, this part, this part, that's not fun, but, I mean, you know, it's either you spend money or you spend money, and who wants to do that? Alright, so now, where is the priest? Let me see. Hello, priest? Priest? A uh, priest? If I don't find him now, I'll find him off screen. Let's see. Um, just, I just ain't seeing him. Alright, so I'm gonna meet you guys where the priest is, so I'll be right back. 
All right, so I figured out where the priest is. Um, he is down here. <laughs> I can't believe I missed that on the first playthrough, but yeah, there he is, right over there. I don't think I've actually been here yet, so. This was once this castle's dining hall. We haven't changed a thing. May not look, uh, much like a bar, but go ahead and relax. Okay. Uh, so you're kidding. You mean that rumor's true? I thought it was just a big lie. What rumor? Couldn't believe it when I heard it either. I mean, an entire pirate ship frozen in ice? Ridiculous. Some people say that they've actually seen it in a cove south of some big desert. Oh, really? All right. Welcome. This uh, bar is for customers at the casino. Enjoy Puff Puff at the casino. Ooh, that's a reference to a lot of other games. Damn it. I hate it when I lose charity money. Oh, did you need something? <laughs> the nun take care of things back in the temple. A shard? What are you talking about? Sorry, I'm very busy, man. See you later. Oh, okay. All right, well, let's uh, maybe follow the priest. So it's south of a giant uh, desert, the ship. We might go visit that, actually. We'll see, though. Now, anyway, uh, what we want to do is we want to make our way back. Uh, well, I guess we'll go this way. Uh, we want to make our way back to the uh, the temple area, and then we'll speak to uh, somebody there. So now let's uh, come on over here. There we go. We need to come on up this way. And I wonder, is the priest still here? No, she's, he's not there doing his thing. So, uh, let's see, and hello! Uh, hey you. The priest was fast asleep after his return. I wonder if something is wrong. He's been acting strange recently. I saw him rummaging under his desk before. His desk, huh? Uh, let's see, so desk, 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 desk. Oh uh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, let's see, rummaging under his desk before. What desk? Uh, this is a desk, no? Uh, let's see. Hey, you. Nothing. No. Uh, that's not it. Uh, let's see here. No. I think he means the, um, uh, like the actual altar. Got a worse headache all of a sudden. I know. I don't know anything. Anything at all. Whatever. Please. Just please. Uh, let's see. I guess we'll go down here and why don't we, uh, try maybe looking at this. Look under the desk. Yeah, there's a shard hidden under the desk. All right. So we get that shard. Awesome. Uh, so I guess that's it for this part now. We've done everything. I mean, we can still do some stuff, and I think we will. Uh, I need to do a little more research, though, because I've, you know, haven't been, I've been slacking off on playtime. But again, I've been busy with school, so it's hard to do stuff like that. I think we're going to call an episode there, guys, though, because we did get some stuff done. And we can go visit the Hobbit. Uh, I think the Hobbit town is still there, so we'll do that off screen. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching, guys. You have an awesome day, and I hope you take care.